Hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel and uh, in this video we are gonna see how we can actually use our flutter web application and convert it to a progressive web application so uh, if you are wondering what is pwa so you can definitely search on google uh, that uh, how we can like what are the benefits of having a pwa what is pwa uh, but just for a quick uh, like uh, uh, brief of what is pwa pwa is just uh, a way of how you can use your web application on mobile phones so that it feels same like you are using a native application so that's the concept behind pwa now um the thing is that uh, you might be wondering why i would want to create a pwa so uh, first thing is that flutter P web is actually very much uh, relevant for pwas because it makes sense and that's uh, that's where they they are also targeting and then you will think that uh, if, if i'm getting the android apk as well as uh, the ios ipa then why i will actually use pwa then there can be uh, many situations let's say uh, if your user wants to see a web version of it or if you want to use web version of it without installing your app then maybe pwa can be helpful and sometimes user does not want to install your app until unless he knows what the app is offering so then in that scenario also you can use a pwa and let's say sometimes uh, you don't want to lose um, your user in terms of um, uh, he can use your product in uh, like whatever platform he is using then also pwa can be good option so if you are already interested we are going to use this uh, got nagpur app which is a game of thrones app and i'm, I'm going to run it on my browser right now and uh, we will convert it to a pwa and guys uh, also uh, uh, before going to do that uh, let's uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not the subscriber already also press the bell icon to get future updates and let me know in the comments what you think about pwa and uh, now it's running on uh, like my chrome it will take few seconds though and then we will be good to go and guys the source code is already available on github i just pushed it also also there can be another P, uh, got related application um, or, or the repository on my github so just ignore that thing and now it's running on local host and you can see this is the napo got app and um, this is the responsive app and now we are gonna convert it to pwa right now it's not pwa and let me just tell you and what you need to do so basically you need to make sure that whatever you want to do you are done with that and then what you will do you will go to this website which is app manifest dot firebase dot com so it's app dash manifest and you have to generate a manifest dot json and then you have to give a reference okay and uh, so here if, if you'll see the app name i can just name it got for short name let's say got if you want to change the theme color you can change it even the background color for display mode we are gonna say standalone and for orientation we are gonna say portrait and this is the json it will create and if you want to show icons uh, when someone installs your app then you can choose an icon i'm gonna just select my mtech viral icon and i will generate a zip file it will generate a zip file for me and then i can extract that file so if i will open that so before doing that uh, I, I will extract that file and i'll paste it inside my um, build folder so this build folder by default you won't get it so let me just delete it for the time being okay so uh, what we will be doing here in this case is like um, um, so here in the index.html first of all we will copy that particular folder um, the images as well as the manifest.json so we have to give reference inside our index.html that we have a manifest file okay so here we can just say a link um rel and manifest and then using href we can give the location so right now i'm gonna say manifest.json and right now you will see that i don't have manifest.json inside this folder because uh, I'm be, I'll be pasting it inside the build folder which will be for production which will be generated by flutter build web yes so it's flutter build web <laughs> okay I just got confused 
okay so flutter build web as soon as i run uh, i ran this command here is a web folder which has been generated it has assets uh, and it has index.html and if let me just clear it and you can see inside this index.html we have the same link rel manifest and all and now i will go to the folder which i just downloaded which is this app images.zip and inside that we have an images folder and manifest.json i'm just gonna copy this inside my web directory which is the directory which we actually um like generated using flutter build web okay and uh, so this is what we have and then um inside the images we can see we have the icons and inside the root only we have manifest.json that's why we wrote here um link rel manifest and manifest.json and that's the all all the thing which you have to do now you can use something called a peanut to uh, generate static uh, website to publish it to github pages or you can use something like surge which is again uh, web publishing uh, web app publishing tool for front end developers you can use npm to install surge and then once you install it then uh, you can just write here uh, first of all you have to go to the build folder and then web folder so i can say cd build slash web and once you are here then you can run search and it will um, ask you which is the project and this one is the project right and then uh, it will ask you for the domain which domain you want so i'm gonna say domain for domain we can write something like got nagpur or we can just say got flutter dot search dot sh and it will check for the domain and if it is available then it will start uploading it and uh, as soon as it will finish it then we will see so you can use anything i mean it just don't have to use search or or, or maybe uh, github pages whatever you want to use you can use that even you can use fire um, fire based uh, deploy or firebase hosting whatever you call it and then um it it will be done okay and then um we can go to this particular url which is this particular domain and then from there we can test it so now it's it's a success so i'm just gonna grab this url and i'm gonna go to my browser i'm gonna paste it and let's see if that works if it generated that website for me so got nagpur you can see that and uh, it's gonna take some time and and here we should have yes so we have the got nagpur uh, now uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna run it in my phone so that uh, you can also feel it okay so um so this is my phone i'm gonna go to my chrome and i am gonna say got flutter dot search dot sh just go to this website then you can see um got flutter and here you can see my got application running now you might be wondering whether it is pwn or not just uh, press on this three buttons and there is add to home screen option just press there and it will show you this icon as well as the name if you want to change it you can change it game of thrones let's say and add and this is the icon you can just say add automatically and now if i even if i cross this then also you can see this is the application i have now and if i press this it will launch like you can see a native application and this is a pwa stuff which you can see clearly now right and it looks like a native application it has a splash as well if you have seen it and uh, yeah it works and icon you can place any day this time it just the splash didn't work i don't know what was the reason so yeah that's how you can just generate a pwa and uh, you can use it with your phone or whatever you want to use it and that's just a start of uh, flutter for web is still um like 
growing and uh, it will become better so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then press the like button subscribe to the channel and uh, also uh, press the bell icon to get future updates i'll see in the next video let me know in the comments what is your view about pwa and all this stuff thank you guys for watching bye bye take care